Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the next tutorial in the series. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to mix in some custom colors like this and I'll also show you how to customize some of the more advanced options in this effect. So the custom colors work via photo filters uh, but you can control them with masks uh, and you can find these masks up here with the uh, advanced selective filters and you can just open that one up and uh, it has all these different colors like red, orange, yellow, green, turquoise, blue and violet and wherever you draw on these masks uh, with a white brush uh, is where it will allow these colors to drop through. So if we want to drop in some maybe a little bit of yellow so wherever we drop in yellow it'll blend in with the blue a little bit. So I'll select the yellow, I'll make sure it's visible and I'll make sure that this black mask is selected and now I can go over here and grab the uh, brush tool and uh, make sure it's on white, the color is white there and you could set the hardness maybe probably around 20% is fine and now wherever I draw on here uh, it'll drop in this yellow and that'll mix with the blue and it'll make a kind of a green tone so when you're doing actual watercolor text in real life uh, your colors will naturally transition from one letter to the next because you have to keep uh, re-dipping your brush uh, getting a little more water on there so this this way of adding colors makes the watercolor effect look a lot more realistic and uh, natural. So this looks pretty good. Um, this is a little bit strong. So in the same way that uh, we use these other effects, you can kind of raise and lower the opacity. Uh, we can do that to uh, this as well. So I'll make sure that the yellow shift one is selected. And I can lower the opacity to make it a little bit lighter. And if you want any of these to be more strong, you can of course raise the opacity. Uh, and it will make the effect a lot stronger. I think for this one I can keep it pretty low. I think the next color I'll drop in is a little bit of the violet. So that looks pretty good. Now I'll go over here and select the violet shift uh, selective filter here and I'll make sure that the mask is selected, this little black box. And I'll grab the brush tool again and I'll double check that it's uh, the color is set to white. Uh, and I'll double check that the uh, hardness is set down there pretty low, around 20%. And uh, same thing, wherever I, I tap here, wherever I click, it'll drop in just a little bit of this violet color. And uh, you can see I'm just cutting through the black uh, with these, these white brush strokes, uh, and that's just letting this color uh, kind of come through and affect the blue. Now these filters do stack, so whereas we added the yellow and it mixed with the blue to make green uh, when we add some of these other colors on top of these other masks all those colors will blend together so if you have too many colors blending together you'll kind of end up with a sort of brownish color just like just like if you were really using watercolor so I recommend only using two or three of these at a time uh, if you use more than that you might have to be kind of careful uh, to keep the colors from getting uh, a bit muddy that looks pretty cool I think the paper texture is looking a little bit strong, but I'm happy with these colors. So I'll close those uh, selective filters here. And uh, I'll go back to the paper texture and make sure it's selected. And then I can lower the opacity of uh, that one. So next I'll show you some of the more advanced options. And uh, this folder right here, watercolor effect options, this is where the actual watercolor effect takes place. So if you're comfortable with Photoshop, you can open that uh, folder up. And then in here, uh, these these folders are all the different parts of this watercolor effect. So if you want to make the outline a little bit stronger, that's this dark edge over here, uh, you can select that outline folder uh, and then raise the opacity and uh, it'll make it a little bit darker. Now these other uh, pieces of the effect can be modified the exact same way. Uh, if you need some help sort of understanding what they control, I added this little, uh, little cheat sheet over here. So um, if you make that visible, it'll bring up this kind of page here and uh, this will kind of demonstrate what uh, each of these uh, corresponds to. But uh, when you use the effect, just make sure that that one is uh, disabled there. So hopefully this is a pretty good overview of how you can drop in these custom colors and sort of modify the effect itself. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to apply that sort of metallic gold and silver effect.